The Ringgate Spillway on top of a Waihee Dam doesn't get used very often. I'm your Idaho Backroads neighborhood reporter Steve Dent, but after last year's big water year and this year's big water year in the Owyhees, the reservoir is full. Mesmerizing, yet a little terrifying at the same time as the Owyhee Irrigation District has opened up the Ringgate Spillway. The glory hole is impressive. It is. To watch the water go over, that much pressure, that much water, you know, it's unique. I could only find two other dams that have this feature that acts like a sink drain, sending the water straight down more than 300 feet before making a 90 degree turn and coming out at the bottom of the dam. This is amazing. I've lived in Idaho since 95 and I've always wanted to see it and it's pretty cool. Lake Oahe has only had enough water to run the spillway in 1993, 2006, 2011, 2017 and now. It sure is nice to see us having enough. Water. Managers will operate it once the reservoir reaches 80% capacity and this Oregon reservoir that stretches more than 50 miles long is 94% full. I grew up farming just down below here and uh, you know this water is our lifeblood. It's what makes this desert bloom, what makes this country grow and when you can get a two year supply of water sitting in here, uh, that sure makes planning for next year easier. The National Weather Service issued a moderate flood warning this week for the Oahe River below the dam that ends on Friday night. As managers will use the dam and the gate ring spillway in an attempt to keep flooding minimal. But while this 60 foot diameter ring is in use, the Oahe Irrigation District crew will open this gate from time to time because people will come to see it. But it's kind of quiet, which is kind of weird because I would have thought that it'd be like super roily and super loud, but it's kind of subtle. It's just so impressive looking. People are not allowed on the Oahe Dam, but one of the irrigation employees escorted me around to see it. At 417 feet tall, it was the largest dam in the world when construction finished in 1932. That didn't last long because engineers used the Oahe Dam as a prototype to build the much larger Hoover Dam in 1936. John Fa knows the history well. In fact, this is why my family came to here. My grandfather came to this country and helped finish pouring the concrete checks and head gates down below back in the late 20s, early 30s when this thing was done. So John comes to see the first ever Ringgate spillway every time it's in operation. That will make your tummy go roundy round. And John's never considered living anywhere else. He loves this rugged, amazing country. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. You know, that's why I've never left. There's a lot here. Finding some place that's better than this, I haven't yet. And what a resource we've got. I've been having a blast recreating out in the Oahis this spring, but it has been different. I've noticed water where there hasn't been before and popular places like Jump Creek, that water is flowing higher than I've ever seen it. So it's important to be careful, obey road close signs, don't drive through moving or pooling water and be safe. I'm your Idaho Backroads neighborhood reporter Steve Dent for Idaho News 6.